Hello, my name is Leslie Johnston, and I'm a curator of the Mika Rottenberg exhibition. Mika was born in 1976 in Argentina and grew up in Israel before moving to New York, where she continues to live and work. Although she has exhibited all over the world, this is her first exhibition in Montreal. This exhibition brings together three of Mika Rottenberg's most recent videos in a space that also includes sculptural installations and uncanny objects that are embedded into the very architecture of the Max temporary space at Place Ville Marie. Mika and I work closely to design an exhibition that plays with the more industrial feeling of the space with its low ceilings and exposed columns. The fact that we are in a space that was once a Chinese restaurant and in a shopping mall also resonate with the works in very interesting ways. In her video installations, Rottenberg takes her viewers on voyages to far-flung places and into the bowels of the earth, depicting the absurdities of our global capitalist system dominated by unregulated production, distribution, and consumption of goods. The videos are incredibly satisfying visual experiences in which faction fiction blend, larger-than-life characters inhabit real constructed spaces, and economic and geopolitical realities are examined through her skeptical, colorful lens. Mika Rottenberg is very astute in the design of her exhibitions, including, as she does, elements that appear in the videos themselves, such as the tunnel and curtain of garlands, or a storage space for artificial pearls. Or she activates the space with sculptural interventions that are embedded into the very architecture. Rottenberg has coined the term social surrealism to describe her practice, a term that brings together surrealism's recourse to the unconscious and dreams, and social realism's focus on economic disparities and the living conditions of the disenfranchised. Her work is informed by her reading of Karl Marx's Das Kapital, and in particular, his very poetic descriptions of women's work and of materials. She's fascinated with materials and matter, not only the materiality, color, and feel of things, but also the energies they create and activate, how objects are made, by whom and why, and questioning how we are all interconnected through materials. In No Nose Nose, for instance, we see a very tall woman in a tiny office whose every sneeze produces a plate of pasta, somehow connected to a space below where dozens of Chinese women are producing artificial pearls. We are clearly within the realm of the absurd and the uncanny, and the work is very funny, but there is also a pointed commentary on relationships between East and West, socioeconomic disparities, and globalized systems of production, and the atrocious work conditions in which the women work to produce what is admittedly a useless good. Cosmic Generator creates a relationship between a network of tunnels linking Mexico and California, and a wholesale market of cheap plastic goods in China. While no logical story ever emerges, Rottenberg effectively creates a link between two geographic locations in a kind of Alice in Wonderland world, contrasting the ease of circulation of goods with the difficulties human beings may encounter crossing borders. An interesting aside to the exhibition is that since Rottenberg has created these works, the world has been inexorably transformed by the pandemic and more recently, the war in the Ukraine. We are all the more aware of the globalization has impacted on our lives, of the fragility of a world that can be brought to its knees by a virus, and on the interconnectedness of our systems of production and distribution, and how much we rely on technology to communicate. <laughs>